What it is, focus your homeboy first. Back again with another episode of the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on something. Make sure y'all watch all segments of episode 188 of Put It On Something. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ultimately hit that share button and put all of your people on it. You feel me? Also, Fuck with our sponsor, the King McNeil Collection, for all of your fraternity or sorority needs. Yesterday was Greek night in the AAC at Jackson State University, okay? And shout out, I'm going to say this off top, shout out to all the youngers that showed up. Y'all showed up yesterday, okay? Y'all brought some energy. Uh, y'all fraternities and sororities, y'all was, y'all was strolling, you were doing your thing, you feel me? Uh, uh, the DJ had y'all rolling. Y'all were even doing little party walks in the stands and shit like that. I like that. We need y'all up in there. You feel me? And we need to keep this going. So shout out to y'all. You know, there was some little incident. I didn't see the incident. My partner TD told me that it went down, okay? That's unfortunate. Stop that bullshit, okay? But other than that, shout out to all the youngers that showed up. Shout out to the students that showed up. You feel me? Keep that shit going. You understand? Know but like I said, if you are in a sorority or a fraternity and you need some sorority or fraternity gear, fuck with the King McNeil collection. Go to kingmcneil.com or uh, download the app. You get 20% off your first purchase on the app. Tell them first sent you. All right. But let's get into it, y'all. Okay. The dynasty of Jackson State University continue the straightening. You understand? Know by knocking off Prairie View by a score of 91 to 54. As I tweeted out, 37 piece. Lemon pepper, well done, you understand? So, we only had one game last week, okay? All right, by the time you see this, maybe we'll, you know, it'll be Monday, we might be getting to Texas Southern already, okay? But just based on last week's games, all right, we only had one game. And since we dominated that game, it is only right it is only proper, it is only fitting that I strike up the mother fucking band. Let go! As always, love the boom. As always, love the boom. Haven't seen the boom yet at the game now. All right, the previous game, we had Callaway band up in that thing. I right, need the boom. I'm going to go ahead and show up and turn up for everybody. You know what I'm talking about? Because always, it's always love the boom. All right, but well, let's get into it. Y'all see my banner right there, okay? Now, for, for folks in my age group on down, y'all already know what that means. But for my, my, my OGs, my double OGs, and my triple OGs out there, okay, that means deep as fuck, okay? So now, now when your youngins, okay, when your children, your grandchildren, you know what I'm talking about, they be uh, uh, texting and typing a little stuff like that, you know what they mean when they're talking, okay? That means deep as fuck. That means our women's team has depth. And see, that's the big story, okay? Uh, that's the contrast between our men's team and our women's team right now, okay? Our women's team, even with the injury to Daphne White, still has tremendous depth, okay? Uh, and if you, you're paying attention to the game, hell, if you're just paying attention to the box score, you can see that, okay? Uh, let, me, let me show what I mean. All right. We didn't have a player for our women's team play over 23 minutes. 
Okay. Andrew Jackson played 23 minutes for us. Okay. All right. That was the most minutes of anybody. Okay. I can contrast that I'm uh, when I talk about the fellas. Okay. But uh, Ken Evans played 39 minutes. Okay. And I think he played 39 minutes in a previous game as well. Okay. And so those guys having to log a lot of minutes and put a lot of work on those legs. You feel me? Whereas our women, have more depth, of course, they're blowing people out. Those games are closer, so it's different. But I'm just saying, even when Coach Reed is subbing before the games get out of hand, when Coach Reed subs, you don't see as much of a drop off, um, uh, as you may see with, with the men, and that's probably why uh, Coach Mo is not subbing as frequently because he's dealing with uh, uh multiple injuries, okay. And just to be honest, we didn't have as much depth with the men coming in as we did with the women, okay? What Coach Reed has is well-established. This is year two of the Coach Mo era, whereas we're in the midst of one of the greatest runs by a coach in SWAC history. We really are. We are in the midst of one of the greatest runs in the history of the SWAC. By coach, I've done a video about that already. Okay, you can look it up. Okay, the title of the video is First Explains How Tamika Reed's Current Run at Jackson State is Historic. It's something to that effect. Okay, but I explain how what this woman is doing at Jackson State right now is on some other shit. Okay, so yes, she's supposed to have more depth than what Coach Mo has at the moment, particularly because of what he's dealing with, not only one injury to Mr. Mansell, but also we already had uh, Mr. Ruffin coming into the season. The, you know, the uh, young point guard that started Callaway, went to Ole Miss and transferred back to Jack State. We were looking for great things uh, uh, from him. You feel me? But sh she's still rolling, even, in, even with Daphne over there in the stands with us. You feel me? Why? Because she got uh, Angel Jackson at that 6'6". Six, six. You got Miss Mahoney that's coming in there doing her thing. You got Tilly, okay, preseason player of the year, you feel me? You got Kashana. You got Maya. My girl is back healthy for real, for real, and she got that bounce back. She back to doing her thing, okay? Then you got Miss Pratchett, who's a versatile 6'3". You know what I'm talking about? You got Miss Layla Walker, who's 6'5", her damn self. Haley Breeland come up in that motherfucker and can handle the ball for you. You feel me? And had a stellar year old. Had a nice Euro step. I'm going to chop that bitch up and put that out for y'all, okay? Miss Roberts came in and gave us five minutes. Jalea, I've told y'all about, about her before. Y'all know she was a key defender last year, okay? And she still can come out there and, and uh, D up for real, for real when you need her to, okay? Miss Hunter gave us 15 minutes. Uh, Miss Avent, who, uh, who is not afraid. When she come up out that motherfucker, okay? And she also had a mean Euro step on somebody, okay? Coach Reba got a goddamn drill for that. Like, again, I'm going to show y'all that. I'm going to have to chop that up and show y'all that, okay? Uh, um, Miss Woods came in and gave us nine min minutes. Miss Woodhouse, like, we got hella depth, man. And we still mostly get production, okay? And I'm not saying our bench is as good as our starters, but I'm saying is the, the drop off is not stark. You feel me? So we, we we really built something. We really really built something with our women's program. Okay, and that's why I said de straightening is upon us. It's upon us. Like these women playing like they fucking got something to prove. They're diving. Uh, for loose balls, they're getting gritty. And, hell, if a box out is missed, the goddamn coaching staff is on that ass. You can hear them over there saying, don't be looking at it. Don't be jumping box out. Find somebody and box out. That's real shit. That's real shit. Okay? And our efforts are paying off. All right? Let's look at some team stats, though. All right? In terms of team stats, uh, we shot a very good 48.5% from the field that we held them to 39% from the field, okay? From three ball, we shot 40% from the field, six out of 15. That's amazing, okay? That's wet. You can get 40% from three ball, you're doing something great. Uh, we were not our best at the free throw line, unfortunately. 
All right. And we can't blame them on Daphne this time. Usually when we when we miss a free throw like that, we chop it up to Daphne missing. Okay. But Daphne was in the stands with us. So us shooting 66% from the free throw line, that's unacceptable. And I know the coach stack gonna get on that ass about that. Uh especially when you contrast that with the 81% of prayer view. Okay. Uh we absolutely dominated the glass, 48 rebounds to their 22 with an amazing amazing 26 offensive boards that's want to that's hustle that's desire and we're getting it done the straightening is at hand okay uh we had 12 assists unfortunately we had 19 turnovers though okay so even in in this block we could have put up uh, well over 100 points if we kept that Kept that number down around 10 like we had previously in the uh, past few games. Okay, so I'm sure the coach staff going to be on their ass about that. We did turn them over 25 times. Okay. Uh, but, again, 19 turnovers for us, that's unacceptable. Okay. Uh, and we dominated the paint per usual for a Tamika Reed coach team with 40 paint points. Okay. Let's look at uh, some individual uh, numbers real quick. Uh, Angel Jackson had 10 points, six boards, one down, one steal, two blocks. Okay, y'all already know she going to always give you something in that block column. Okay, she is the reigning defensive player of the year, and she going to go back to back. Bucket! She's going back to back defensive player of the year. Quit playing. All right. Uh, my girl Maya had 13 points, nine boards, uh, two dimes, one steal. And like I told y'all, uh, she's back on her bullshit for real, for real. Yeah, I can tell a different. Last year, she was not, she was back, but she was not healthy because Maya is an athlete. Maya got bounced. You feel, feel me? Maya got a little swag to her game. You feel me? I'm starting to see that again, the way she's penetrating, the way she's getting up above the rim. She palmed that bitch one time. And finger roll that John up in there. You feel me? Uh, you know, she's attacking the offensive glass. Uh, I'm in the offensive board she had for me. Shit, she gave me five offensive boards of damn self. Okay. Because the bounce is back. The bounce is back. She was not healthy. Okay. So I'm glad to see that she's backing on her game. And while I'm mentioning that, now, y'all saw that I did uh, – uh, an NIL deal with Maya, you know, just to have her do a shout out and put it on some. And for real, for real, y'all, I just wanted to hold her down and, and throw some money her way and uh, throw some money to Z Cook, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and so through that, I was able to uh, do that. But y'all, we, we, we got to take advantage of this NIL space. And if we want to support these athletes, you feel me? Like we really want to take our program to that next level. We got to get on this shit like that. You understand? And these athletes, both of them were business like Maya did the shout out to for me. Uh 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 and Zeke Cook or the men's team, he did the shout out for me. You know, somebody they did exactly what I asked them to do in the time that they were supposed to do it and everything like that. So we got some professional uh men and women, you know, to my on our team. So don't uh don't fret, don't be be hesitant to reach out to them on these uh uh platforms that we have at our disposal uh you know to do these deals with them because they need that they they need that you feel me i asked her you know had anybody else uh you know done a deal with her since you know i did and she said no but she was like i'm being patient it's gonna come and it should come it ain't got to be maya maya is my favorite player you feel me but y'all can fuck with any of our women man or the men whoever just do it just do it. If you have any disposable income, you feel me? Uh, uh, you know, maybe instead of buying that fifth of liquor this weekend, you know, instead of dropping that 40 or 50 on that fifth, you know, whatever it is that you're spending, you know, say, you know what, uh, I'm going to get one of these youngins, I don't know, to do a shout out for me or, uh, you know, uh, rep this merch that I'm hustling or whatever the case. It's good business for you and it's great. It's great for us to show these young people that we really appreciate what the fuck they're doing uh, for the university. You feel me? They are a walking billboard 
for the university and they really hold us down. You understand? And they are being excellent on the floor. Okay, particularly our women's team. So I, I just want to mention that. You know, so make make sure you're taking advantage of that. Okay. So if you missed that segment where I showed y'all how to do the NIL deals, y'all can go to open doors, opendoors.com, or just go to Google and type in uh Jackson State NIL or Jackson State Open Doors. And uh it should pop up and y'all can go through and support whatever athlete uh you want you feel me uh and for my in particular i did tell her i was gonna mention this also if you want to go around the open doors thing you can do deals with her directly uh through instagram okay you can do di deals directly with maya through Insta instagram and i know a lot of our players are on there okay but her instagram uh in particular is hold on let me go to it make sure i get out the right name all right she's easy rook on there and that's easy with a Z instead of an S. Easy Rook. E A Z Y R O O K. Easy Rook on Instagram. You feel me? But again, fuck with any of our players, uh, cause they deserve it. All right, but let's get back to these numbers, real quick. Like, all right, uh, Miss Mahoney, uh, she gave us four points, two dimes, one steal, two boards. You feel me? Uh, Tilly. Came through with 14 on 6 of 11 shooting, 2 for 4 from Trey Ball. Uh, I'm almost shocked when, when Tilly misses a 3 because her form looks so goddamn good. You feel me? Uh, and she shoots it so confidently. You understand? All right. But uh, shout out to Tilly. Uh, like I said, 14 points, uh, 2 boards, 1 steal, 1 block. All right. Uh, Kashana has seven points, three, three assists, five boards, three steals. Unfortunately, had five turnovers, okay? She had been doing better with that in these previous games. All right, but uh, she going to get that back on track. Shout out to Ken Folk. Ken Folk had a hell of a mood, too. Yesterday, they, they, they girl were attacking the, the basket uh, with, with, with great skill and touch, finishing around the basket. You know, to my great, great shit to see. All right. Uh, off the bench, uh, Maya Pratchett gave us five points. Uh, Layla Walker gave us one point. Miss Breland gave us 10 points. Uh, Jalea gave us a point. Uh, Ariana gave us five points. Miss Avent gave us 14. Miss Avent came, Miss Avent took more shots than anybody. I told my wife, I said, Miss, Miss Avent get that ball. She's shooting that bitch. Miss Avent gonna shoot that motherfucker. Okay. She be, she be looking to get that bitch off. She shot one of them motherfuckers from Highway 80. Yes, she did. Miss A been shot one shot from Highway 80. She don't care nothing about it. Okay. You can be on Miss A been and that shit going up. All right. If the coaching staff sees it, they might chuckle, but they know I'm goddamn right. Miss A been is trying to get an FGA in that motherfucker. FGA might be her middle name or something. Or it don't might be her middle initials or something. I don't know. But she trying to get one up. All right, shout out to Miss Avon. I like her game, though. Know? I like her game. All right, she didn't shoot it well. She was 4 of 13, but she was getting them motherfuckers up. She was trying to get us to 100. She was trying to bust the scoreboard. Okay, she is. Shout out to Miss Avon, though. All right, uh, like I said, she gave us four points. Uh, Miss Woods gave us four points, and Miss Woodhouse gave us three. Okay. Our games this week are Texas Southern. And that's at 5.30 at the AAC. And on Saturday, back on the road, we go to Bethune-Cookman as part of our Florida trip. All right. We got them at 1 o'clock there. And then following that, next Monday, we got FAMU at 4.30. All right. So make sure y'all support the dynasty as they continue to hand out the straightening. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.